how often do you find yourself thinking of other many things whilst you are busy with something very different? How often do you drive to a place and you wonder as to how you arrived there? How often do you communicate with others and find yourself thinking of the past, thinking of how you want to respond instead of listening to understand? How often do you sometimes forget what you are supposed to be doing? Well, the question is, are you on autopilot? Are you driven by your past behaviors? Are you driven by your past patterns, which are programmed in your mind and you find yourself unconsciously doing that which you are not even paying attention to. More often, most people react or behave based on their practiced patterns of behavior, based on what programs that they have in their minds. We are not saying it's all bad to be on autopilot. There are instances where we need the autopilot saved programs. Say for instance, when you were learning how to drive or when you were learning how to swim or learning how to cook your favorite meal, the fact that you kept on repeating that activity, the pattern was then stored in your brain. However, when the autopilot relates to emotions based on your previous background, based on your previous experiences, and more especially if those emotions are not positive, that autopilot reaction to circumstances will be very dangerous. How often do we find ourselves doing things or saying something that we later regret? How often do we find ourselves in the middle of a conversation, heated conversation, and saying things that you later regret? Well, that is basically because we are not conscious or intentional of what we are doing and saying. What we need to appreciate is that intentional living, intentional thinking before acting is very important because if we base our behavior on our programmed patterns, which might no longer serve us, the fact that you did something in the past and it worked then does not mean that it is relevant now. So what is it that we need to do? What is it that we need to practice so that we can take control of our lives? Because if we are on autopilot, we are basically relinquishing all the services that we need to be intentionally doing. We are basically putting our efforts and choices at the back seat. Because what we need to appreciate is regardless of whatever happens to us, we've got the space, we've got a gap where our freedom lies. We've got the space where we can choose how to respond. And that space becomes smaller and smaller if we allow ourselves to operate on autopilot, if we allow ourselves to carry on with habits, to carry on with emotional responses, which do not serve us. Therefore, what old patterns are you currently adopting which do not serve you? What programs are there in your mind which do not serve you, however, they are now your default. How you respond to others, how you communicate, how you behave, and how you feel about certain things. What we need to appreciate is until and unless we make a choice to intentionally become conscious of what we do, to intentionally observe what we do, how we think, how we feel, we will not succeed. We need to intentionally observe our thoughts. We need to intentionally pause 
before responding so that we do not find ourselves reacting from a programmed emotion which no longer serve us. Conscious living is a lifestyle where you choose your responses. You choose to observe. You choose to decide. You choose to set intentions on how you want to interact with others. Unless we become aware of our behaviors, unless we become aware of our responses and emotions, we are going to live unconscious lives. We are going to live lives where we are driven by the programs that no longer serve us, we, where we are driven by the behaviors which do not serve us. This is where now self-awareness comes into play because self-awareness is the first step towards conscious living. You cannot adopt conscious living if you are not aware of your current behavior, if you are not aware of your current patterns of behavior. We need to sit back because when you speak of self-mastery, we are basically saying you need to master your life. You need to master how you think. You need to master how you feel. You need to master how you respond because you cannot always be picking a default program which no longer serve you. Because if you keep on picking the default programs, which maybe in the past might have served you, then if it's not relevant now, you end up being the one who apologizes. You end up being the one who people avoid to talk to because we automatically predict your responses. We sometimes say people give us names. We sometimes say people are judgmental. However, do you sometimes sit back to analyze your behavior, to analyze your patterns of responses when it comes to situation and find out what is it that might be making people feel the way they do? What has been your contribution to how people think about you? You yourself, you know your patterns of behavior. And we need to come to terms with awareness of how we do things. Otherwise, we are simply going to be in the dark. We are going to be asleep and we will not know why we do things the way we do them. It is time for us to wake up. It is time for us to be consciously and intentionally directing our behavior, our emotions and our thoughts or else we are going to be on autopilot. Well, this is Rachel Negati, and this is your self-mastery discussions. Our objective is to make sure that we live intentional, conscious lives. If you have liked this video, feel free to share it with others. And remember to subscribe so that you can get regular updates when we share these self-mastery discussions. Because our intention is to ensure that we help one person one day at a time. This is Rachel Nick at the end. I am your life coach.